Alrighty, so in this episode, I finally got the, my uh, Omoba series uh, short spring guide. So, like I've been saying, uh, I'm expecting a slight increase of the FPS because of the ball bearing and the metal uh, washers there will tighten up the spring a little bit. So, I'm expecting about 5 FPS. So, uh, let's uh, put it in and see what the difference All right, is. This is the test of the stock spring guide. I'm expecting about 309 to 315. So before I put in the MOBA series uh, spring guide, so stock guide, 310.5, 310.8, 310.6, very consistent. So let's see what the full auto is. Okay, so it shoots at almost 18 RPS at 321.7. Now I'm just using my uh, one of my uh, bigger uh, 74 volt batteries just to test it. So not too bad. We'll see what the MOBA series uh, uh, spring guy will do. So I'm expecting probably an increase of 5 FPS. Alright, here is the test with the MOBA series ball bearing spring guide. Three twenty. Wow. Three sixteen point three. Three twenty four point one. So you could see that the the MOBA series spring guide really does help tighten up the the spring a little bit so it's adding a little bit tension to the M110 spring that's in this one so let's see what full auto does so looks like it makes it a little bit more consistent 18 RPS 326.5 Wow, 333.9, so well worth it to get the spring guide, so definitely I recommend it. Now, of course, um, I think uh, I annotated one of my last parts on my uh, video that I was using the GMP bucking. Right now, I'm using the Aries stock bucking because I had a problem with the GMP bucking making boomerangs out of my BBs. So right now, I think... This thing should be fine. I'm oh, definitely gonna test it outside and make sure the, uh, the OEM bucking isn't uh, boomeranging, but but I'll definitely check. I'll update it on my next video, my next part video. 